Hi, my family, and welcome to this video. And if you're new, welcome. To I know I didn't upload a video on Monday this week, but I had so much to do and I didn't felt really good. We were away during the Christmas. We, are, we came day before Monday, so I was very, very tired. I just want to say Happy New Year, everyone. And it's 2019. I'm very excited for this year. I have big plans for my channel. Or my plan, not so big plans. I want to... Last year, I had a wish to accomplish 1,000 subscribers. And I'm almost up to 2,000 subscribers. So I hope at the end of this year, I will have 3,000 subscribers. That's my dream. And I hope it will be true. But thank you everyone that already subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't, please... Please push that not subscribe button, notification bell, doesn't cost anything, it's free and we are going to have a wonderful time here on my channel. And at, and at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you who's the winner of the giveaway last that I had on my channel. It ended on Monday, so I'm very excited to tell you at the end of this video who that is. But don't worry. I'm already planning another giveaway on Valentine's Day, like I always do every year, a Valentine's Day giveaway, so it's coming up soon. So stay for that. And I'm very excited for everyone that watches my video, that comments and likes my videos. Thank you very much. But today I'm here to do a video that was requested from you guys, some of my subscribers, and it's to do a makeup look with these two palettes, to compare these two and to, to make the same makeup look. So. If you're interested to see that, then please keep on watching. Okay, guys, so let's compare these two babies. Actually, I've used this a lot and I really, really like this uh, palette. Yeah, it's very powdery, but the same as the Renaissance palette and soft glam. So maybe a little bit more than them, but doesn't bother me. I can't open this one though. Oh. I know my nails look like disaster, but I'm going to do them in two days. I'm going to make, fix them in two days. So let's compare these two. The shade that I was most excited about, but was disappointed is this shade here. It's the same thing like here. It's very packed and I can't explain, but it's very packed and it's like a topper more than this is Makeup Revolution and this is, oops, oh no, I just dipped my fingers in there. I don't know if you can see, this is Makeup Revolution and uh, this is Anastasia, sub, subculture one. I don't know. They look very similar though, Makeup Revolution is more shimmery. I want to compare this shade from Makeup Revolution and this shade from Subculture palette, makeup revolution, and subculture. Oh, well, not really the same, but we are going to try these shades on the eyes and let's compare more. Let's take this bronzy shade from makeup revolution. No, not wrong. That was the wrong shade. <laughs> let's store over the bronzy shade from makeup revolution. And this one from so hard to hold them in the hand. So this is Anastasia and this is Revolution. These two are very, very similar. Identical. I can't see any difference between them. And I'm curious to try these two. This from Makeup Revolution. And this one, I don't know if I swatch those. This is Makeup Revolution and Anastasia. I don't know if you can see that. But the Anastasia is definitely more pigmented. But they are really... Let me try to build this one. It's... Ah, this one is a little bit deeper. But maybe you can build that one up or be light with the other one. And I want to actually compare these two. This is Makeup Revolution. And this one from, not really sim, they are similar, but not, this is Makeup Revolution and this is Anastasia. They are similar, but definitely, they look definitely close, but not really this, 
The shades are very similar, but I think the, oh no, I think Anastas, the subculture is more pigmented, of course, than the revolution. But we'll see how they're going to perform on the eyes. So let's try them. Let's try them. I'm going to use these, the same brushes, but I'm going to clean them in between. So let's see. I'm going to use Makeup Revolution on this eye and Anastasia on this eye. So for Esco 02. And I'm going to go into Makeup Revolution shade up here. This one powdery also, but not as pigmented as the makeup. Uh, as the subculture, I can't speak. Oh, I have to zoom you in, sorry. I'm going to build that shade up. I've used this palette for Makeup Revolution a couple of times. They are very easy to blend, I really like it. So I'm just building up this shade. It's a beautiful shade, very easy to blend. I forgot to put some powder if there is any fallout because it's going to be some fallout. So I'm going to put some Huda Beauty under my eyes. Yeah, and I have to be dramatic. <laughs> <coughs> this powder smells good, but it doesn't taste good. I'm going to clean the brush, clean the brush, clean it and then go into the Anastasia shade, New Wave, in the subculture shade, New Wave, that's very powdery. And I'm going to build it up. This one, as you can see, is definitely more pigmented. One of my subscri subscribers asked me that has this palette how the Axis and Rody works on me. They found that shade to be patchy. You can say patchy. And I also had the same problem. Uh, when I tried to build them up in the corner of the eye, it kind of looked patchy. Both of them. It took me a while to make them work on the eyes. So if you can see, this is a little bit warmer than the other shade. So I'm going to go back in Revolution palette and try to build that shade up a little bit. Now I'm going to dig in in the brown shade from Makeup Revolution, and this shade, and I'm going to find a similar shade in the, it's called Fudge in the Subculture palette. But let me swatch them. They're not, very similar. Right now, it, I kind of find the subculture shades to be more warmer. So I go in in the Revolution palette in that dark brown and dipping, up, uh, trying to dip it up a little bit. See, I do have to build it up a lot. Dipping a couple of times. But this is a very good palette for the beginners. Some, someone, if you like these subculture shades, subculture shades sounds very strange, but if you like the shade from subculture palette and it's too expensive and maybe you don't like the powdery shade palettes. I, mean, I have too much powder under my eyes and it's flying everywhere. Uh, then I definitely so get, suggest you to buy the Revolution palette and it's called Iconic Division Reloaded. So I'm going to clean the brush and go into the brown shade Fudge in the Subculture palette. So I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to take a very small blending brush, Esco 03. And I'm going to take this shade from Revolution palette. And it's the similar one to it. It's down from Subculture. And I'm just going to blend up here. 
So this eye is definitely warmer than this eye. But I kind of prefer hmm, this. No, this, no, I like them both. Let's see, I'm going to go now into this shade in the Reloaded palette and it's called Ro Rody, Rody, I think it's pronounced in the makeup, in the subculture palette. So the makeup or the Revolution one doesn't have a name. So I'm going to deep up here a little bit. I can't see it here. Clean the brush. I'm going to in that row, row D in the Sokoto palette. Oh, this one is much more pigmented. Only one dip. And so I'm going to take some concealer and cut the crease. My camera is messing with me a lot. While I was trying to cut my crease, my camera stopped working three times. It's making me really mad because it's going to be much harder for me to, to put this video together. And I'm going to take this brush from Esco 05 and I'm going to go into this shade here and it's Adorn in Subculture Palette. So I'm going to go first in the Makeup Revolution or Revolution. And this one is without, this one is with a brush and with a dry brush. And this brush is perfect. Shimmery shade. So let me clean the brush and go in in the adorn. I kind of found like the brush picks the Makeup Revolution a little bit easier. But this one is also very intense when it goes on the eye. But I really want to deep up the crease a little bit. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into this brush and I'm going to go back in the brown shade in the Makeup Revolution palette and deep up the crease. And then I'm going to go into brown shade fudge in the subculture and do the same thing. So what I want to do actually is to go back in the dark plum shade and deep up. And then clean that brush and go in that brown shade again and Deep up this side and go back and blend everything. Subculture is definitely more pigmented. Right now, this Rody really works. It's not as patchy as it was the first time I used it. It turns out more black on the eye, it definitely. So I'm going to clean it and go in with the brown fudge shade and blend here. Now I want to go in this brown bro, bronzy shade, kind of wet the brush a little bit. So let's do that. Where is the brush? So I'm going to clean the brush, cleaning all the time. I apply the bronzy shade from Revolution and spray it. You can use the Fix Plus. I'm going to use this Obsession Pigment Boost Fix. So let's see how this is working wet. Oh, wow. Very intense. I'm going to take that brown shade on the finger and just blend the edges a little bit. Adorn 
Okay, Dawn, I don't know how to pronounce. Subculture, wet the brush. And let's see how this one works wet. Oh wow, also very beautiful. Brown shade and blend. So, I'm going to go in with the SCO04 and take this yellow shade or must must mustardy shade can't pronounce that from revolution so i'm dipping in a couple of times to make this as pigmented as i would like it to be it's not really working for me i'm going to take it a little bit lower blend it a little bit lower Clean the brush and I'm going to go in that similar shade edge, I think it's called in the or pronounced in the subculture. Definitely more pigmented. I know what this brush is a very flat one. And take the brown shade that we had and work it very close to my lower lash line. Oh, fudge is definitely more pigmented than the brown shade in the Revolution. But I feel like I said that 100 times right in this video. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go in that plum shade. And I'm not going to go all the way, just halfway. Right now, it, the only thing we have left is here, and I can't see any shade that it's going to go uh, well with this. So I'm going to actually take the... Uh, Ofra highlighter, this is Glaze Donut, and use the same brush, just clean it, the Esco 04, I love these brushes, I put it on both sides, oh, that's pigmented, so I'm going to apply mascara, and I don't know if I'm going to apply any lashes, yeah, I'll be right back, so this is the final look, Makeup Revolution Subculture Palette. Makeup Revolution Subculture Palette using same shades. And I think the makeup look turned out beautiful, though I think this is more warmer than this. But these were easier to blend than some of these shades, were not as pigmented as I would like it to. But I think you can create similar makeup looks if you buy the this palette from Makeup Revolution. It's called Iconic Division. If you want some culture and it's too expensive, definitely try this one out because as you can see, it's, there is not a big difference between them, but it looks beautiful. I didn't apply any eyelashes, so I won't take down the makeup look and hide the makeup look because I really want you to see how it worked on the eyes. But these two bronzy shades are the same, <laughs> but I really like the makeup look. The lipstick is Jeffree Star, the one that I really, really like. And Karma, Jeffree Star Karma. But these two are beautiful. I do love, like Subculture. I really like it. I do use it. I also like this. I don't use it as much as this one just because this is more pigmented. But I did buy this for a couple of months ago and I did use it a lot. My favorite color is, I can't open this, but this one in the middle. The pink, this shade, peachy shade in the middle. But that was everything I had for you today. I hope you like this video. The winner of this giveaway is... Da -da -da -da. I picked it with the program. Uh, I picked the winner and it's... Rahmat Kasin? Kasin? Rahmat Kasin. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. If this is the winner of the giveaway. Congratulations. Don't be sad if you didn't win. I have a giveaway going on soon on my channel in February so stay on my channel for that but please Rahmat contact me on my Instagram so 
I can get your address and send you the products. If I don't hear from the winner till the, till the end of Friday, I'm going to choose another. I'm going to choose another winner. But guys, I love you all. Don't forget to watch my videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like button. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.